Hi classmates, this is Shelly, your virtual classmate from the ETV Student Club. Today, I will tour you inside the Google Meet para ma-familiarize na kayo kung ano ang gagawin nyo once you join the meeting. Kung naaalala nyo, dito tayo nagtapos from our last discussion. As you can see in the screen, my camera is off. If you want to join the meeting with your video on, just simply click this button to turn on your camera. Same with your microphone. But in this case, I will not turn on my video to avoid any distractions while I'm explaining. Now that I'm all set, let's go inside the meeting and click Join Now. Kapag ikaw ang nagsimula ng meeting, itong window na ito ang una mong makikita. But usually, si teacher lagi yung mauuna Kaya hindi na ito lalabas sa screen mo. Yung info na ito, which is yung Meet link, ito rin ang makikita ng mga classmates mo sa kanilang Google Classroom. Okay, let's just exit this window and proceed to other features of Google Meet. Kung mapapansin nyo, habang nagsasalita ako, there are sound waves around my photo. Ibig sabihin, hindi nakamute ang microphone ko and the system is hearing my voice. Now, you'll see three main buttons here. The mute button, which will toggle your microphone on or off. The end meeting, which will allow you to end or leave the meeting. And the camera button, which will toggle your video on and off. If you click this button, it will simply mute you. At hindi ka na maririnig ng mga classmates mo. If you could notice na wala din yung ating sound waves dahil tayo ay nakamute. You will use this to avoid distractions, but make sure to unmute your mic kapag kinakausap ka ni teacher or if you want to answer or ask a question. Same functions with the camera button. So let's unmute ourselves again. This button in the middle, you need to be careful with it dahil kapag naklik mo ito, Mawawala ka sa meeting and you can miss some important parts of your lesson. This feature right here, Turn on Captions, is an interesting one. If you turn on captions, magkakaroon ka ng subtitle habang nagsasalita ka. So let's try it! Hello classmates! How are you? As you can see, Google Meet is automatically creating captions while I'm speaking, but please note that this is only applicable for English. Kapag nagsalita ka ng Tagalog, medyo malilito na si Google Meet. So that's how you use captions. Let's turn it off now. This present button is mostly for your teacher, kaya hindi na muna natin siya i-discuss for now. And here, you'll see the familiar three dots. When you click this, you will see more options. Settings is the audio and video settings for your Google Meet. Record Meeting gives you the ability to record the screen of your video or your meeting. Halimbawa, gusto mo i-record yung meeting nyo para mabalikan yung mga lessons nyo. You will simply click this button. And you will see this window warning you that you should always ask for consent when recording the screen. So let's click Accept. And automatically, mara-record na yung video nyo. If you could notice, there's a record symbol in the upper left corner, meaning we're now recording the screen of our video. Kung gusto mo naman i-end yung recording, just go back to More Options and click Stop Recording. You will see a prompt informing you that this will be saved in your Google Drive. Okay, so now let's stop recording. In the upper right corner of your screen, makikita mo ang mga buttons na ito. When you click this, dito mo makikita yung mga names ng classmates mo na nakajoin sa inyong Google Meet. This button right here, ito naman yung ating chat button. So, dito, pwede kang mag-send ng message to your classmates. So, let's say, Bye, classmates! 
there you have it. That's the interface when you're inside Google Meet. Again, this is Shelly for EduRescue TV. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in our next class. Bye!